Who keeps touching the switch? You? <laughs> ah, stop it! I'm watching you. Hey, this is Matt, and we're off our couch. I'm still watching you. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're off our couch out in Orlando, Florida at Maker FX Makerspace. Maker FX Makerspace, a part of the Maker Effect Foundation, is a community makerspace here in Orlando where makers of all types, robotic builders, woodworkers, crafters, artists, all kinds of makers come together to create, make, and learn from each other. And many of these makers bring their projects and creations to showcase at Maker Fair Orlando, an annual event. This year it is happening November 9th and 10th, 2024 at the Central Florida Fairgrounds and Expo Hall in Orlando. We attended last year. Um, this is just some of the fun, some of the incredible creations we experienced at last year's event. And we plan to be back for this year's event too. Uh, will you be there? Let us know. And we'll talk about Maker Faire more as we explore the Maker FS Makerspace. But let's get back to our tour first. And yes, we do have a tour of this Makerspace by none other than Allison of Allison Chase Cosplay. Her work is amazing. These are just some of her creations. Um, that were on display at Maker Fair um, last year. If you remember these, if you were admiring along with us last year at Maker Fair, uh, let us know please in the comments. And thank you so much for getting off the couch with us then. Thanks for getting off the couch with us now. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Thanks so much for joining us off the couch. And thank you all for joining us on this tour that's going to be led by Allison, who's going to provide us with all the details and insights for those who are already makers, want to have a place to learn how to make or just enjoy seeing what makers make. Uh, so let's get started. Let's see some examples of what makers are capable of. It's just like an example of somebody had a weird idea, was like, we should do this, and then we just did. Because <laughs> that's what being a maker is about. Um, we do have a group called Bright Bikes, which during the pandemic, I believe, made like some really cool light up bikes to like drive around outside oh. and do a lot of cool things with. So this was just kind of an extension of bright bikes, but on like a bigger level. Somebody and it does ride around and it does do a lot of really cool stuff. Oh, wow. Well, we already met our greeter. <laughs> I remember this project from Maker Faire years ago uh, before we started filming and making videos. My son loved this. Uh, he still loves it now. And we did this just last year, the can crusher. We still have our crushed cans as souvenirs uh, on our trinket shelf. And it will be back in action. Um, you see all the bags of cans here. So that's quite a variety of projects. And there's more variety that goes on at the Maker FX Makerspace. Let's take a look around and let's see what else you can do here. So in the Makerspace, you can do sewing and embroidery, 3D printing, soldering. Along with a demonstration on how to solder, Allison is explaining to us how popular on um, the Learn to Solder exhibit is at Maker Faire Orlando. So this can get up to over 400 degrees oh, and it's yeah. used to melt um, metal onto electrical circuits and then that connects different electrical circuits together. And at Maker Faire we actually have Learn to Solder kits and they will teach you how to solder at Maker Faire. That's awesome. So we've been teaching, we've taught kids as young as four with their parents' help oh, wow. how to solder electric cables and make little pins. This is the Learn to Solder exhibit at last year's Maker Fair, and uh, I feel confident if a four-year-old can pick it up, um, I think I should give it a try too. I'm going to check it out at this year's Maker Fair. And we will see more machines and more tools as we continue to tour. But Allison is quick to explain that it's not really about the machines here at Maker FX Makerspace. But yeah, we have lots of different components, but the most that we offer here is actually community more than the machines themselves. Because okay. if you need someone to teach you how to do something, we have people in the community who help each other out and like share our knowledge and share our hobbies and our expertise in certain areas That's and awesome. if somebody doesn't know how to do something there are usually enough people willing to jump in and then learn it and we all learn it together that sounds promising and awesome and to join the community it's just 75 dollars monthly for families 50 dollars monthly for individuals for 24 7 access 
There are annual plans too that will save you some money. And the website link will be in the description so you will have all the details. And that's where you can request a tour if you're interested in joining the makerspace and this community. Speaking of community, they do have guilds or clubs or different makers meet on different Fridays during the month. And that's just an example of how you would have that um, community, that chance to work with and collaborate with other makers on your projects. Uh, the makerspace is large and there are multiple rooms. Follow us please inside of this room here where we'll see the CNC router, which is capable of engraving or cutting a design for your project. And here's an example of what a CNC router can do. And the design on the can crusher that we saw earlier at the beginning of our tour, that's another example. There is also a saw stop, which cuts wood. And here is the planer at work. With the wood, it does ensure both sides are parallel to each other. And I'm learning from these makers that if you can join and plane your own wood, then you can purchase the rougher cuts of wood, which are three to four times less. And that type of savings can really add up. And here there is also a wood turner. Allison has shown us examples um, on the display in the front of what the wood turner can make. We have moved outside of the wood shop and there is a laser engraver. Uh, my daughter and I are watching as her customized image of a cat and a catfish become a reality. And this is the classroom. Classes like Arduino, 3D printing, uh, other topics are taught here. One of Allison's creations is in here. Um, actually not just one, but two. Uh, the power loader orange from a cosplay that was demonstrated at Maker Fair Orlando last year. It is so cool. You guys should really see that. You should check out Allison's Instagram page um, because you can check that out. But also, she recently did a Bumblebee cosplay for the red carpet premiere of the new Transformer movie, um, Transformers 1 in New York. It is so cool. And I believe it's gonna be at Maker Fair this year. I'm excited to see it in person. Now, also here in the classroom are desks that makers made during the pandemic for students who had to study from home, but did not have desks to do so. And the makerspace is always giving back to the community. Uh, it is about community. Community, right? So they currently have a makerspace in the Give Kids the World Village here in Central Florida. That is a nonprofit resort for children with critical illnesses where they and their family can enjoy a week long, no cost vacation, and create memories together. We have moved, as you can see, into a different section of the Maker FX Makerspace where there are heat presses and also screen printers. Um, they will have that again at Maker Fair this year. Uh, last year, um, this is my daughter screen printing her very own shirt at Maker Fair. And look, uh, way in the back corner um, is Drifty Monster. Uh, do you all remember Drifty Monster from last year's Maker Fair um, during the Power Wheel races? Uh, that's okay if you don't. Here's the reminder. This was so cool to watch. <laughs> I wonder if Drifty Monster is gonna make a comeback for this year's power races. Hmm. <laughs> well, the whole reason why we walked all the way back to um, the back of this workspace was to actually see the metal shop. So that is in the process of being created. So there's gonna be more growth to the makerspace, exciting developments coming, which means more projects, more creations for Maker Fair, which again is happening November 9th and 10th, 2024. And if you're watching this after those dates, as I said, it's an annual event. It happens each year. So you can just catch it um, the following year. And I'm certain you will love it. I'm sure of it. And you will be astonished by what you see. We will be there. Let us know what days you will be there. Tell us what you're looking forward to also. I'm checking out the website and the power racy is returning and may you drifty monster. That'd be cool. Um, the Daleks of Florida will be there learning how to fly a drone, uh, MC parts, creating theme parts in Minecraft, um, learning how to solder, something that I should do this time, um, robot ruckus. Plus I see some exhibits I never seen or heard of before, like the Orlando Ghostbusters and Circus Inferno Entertainment with Circus and Fire performances. Uh, I cannot wait for this year's event. Um, this is one of my kids' favorite events. We're all excited for what's in store this year. The website link is on this 
screen and in the description for your tickets. This is a fun, family friendly and affordable event. Parking is free. Plus there are discounts on admission and free admission offered to particular individuals, such as educators, for example. The website lists all of the different discounts and others that are eligible for free admission. So definitely check that out and scroll through all of the exhibits too. Um, you'll find a variety of cool things to check out. You'll discover more possibilities about what can be made just like we've done today at Maker FX Makerspace. I want to thank Ian, founder of Maker Effect Foundation, for allowing us to tour this space. Um, we'd like to thank Allison of Allison Chase Cosplay for taking us on a tour of the Makerspace and sharing her knowledge with us. And we would like to say thank you to all of the makers for sharing their expertise with us. We will be back next month with more makers displaying their creativity and innovation. So if you yet to subscribe, do so please so you do not miss out and do not miss out too on our next adventure. Each and every Saturday we are off our couch on a new adventure and our next adventure takes us not too far away to Winter Park, Florida to meet Botanical Garden. This is a free garden open to the public and perfect for a lovely day in nature. So join us please here and for our monthly newsletter too. Each month we bring travel tips, travel inspiration, and travel stories, both the good and the bad, to your inbox. The sign-up link is on our website, offourcouch.com, and in the description. As always, we want to thank you for joining us for this tour of Maker FX Makerspace. Thank you for all the likes, comments, and shares, and thank you for getting off the couch with us once again. And we hope to see you off the couch too at Maker Fair Orlando. Until next week, click on the video to see another one of our experiences. Thanks for watching.